Hello everybody, Darren here, and welcome back to episode 35 in my second Let's Play series for Anno 1800. In the last episode, we filled out the Engineer Island here on Crown Farms, raising our population and unlocking even more palace modules. The goal now is going to be to fully meet the demands of these engineers and then start building even more of them, probably back on our home island of swords, so we can actually use them in the Research Institute. I decided to start this episode at night time just because I think the place looks darn good. And normally during episodes, if it's night time, people are like, Oh, I can't see anything. Don't know what you're doing. Because <laughs> I guess it's like low brightness or whatever. So I think it's nice just to start off the episode by having a look around. It's 1 a.m. The variety theater is kicking off, but largely the city is quiet. This new freshly built engineer district. You can imagine people are still moving in. I just think it looks really good, and then it's a big contrast actually, I wish I kind of put down a few more lights than I've actually got, but there's really not much space for it, you know, I'd have to kind of disrupt the plaza to add even more lights around there, but perhaps around the back of the police station, the next town halls, and things like that, we can add a few, uh, and brighten up the city as well, later on. But if we, just as a stark contrast, let's hop over to Swords. Oh my god, <laughs> the atmosphere, I forgot where the camera was, I was taking screenshots uh, earlier. But yeah, it looks really cool actually. We've got the- that looks so nice. I didn't see it at nighttime, honestly. Um, the botanical garden all under- li backlit, I guess you could almost say. It. Lit from the bottom, the trees. Looks so good. I don't think I've ever seen that before. Now, we still haven't actually laid out the botanical garden the way I want it. Oh, the 1404 music kicking off is so nice as well. But you can just tell, yeah, these places are just a little bit nicer in terms of how I've lit them. Uh, I thought I thought we were going to be looking over at the, engineer, uh, the investor district. There we go. But yeah, a lot brighter, a lot more lively, I think. Well, no, maybe not lively, but just a lot brighter. Some people out there getting some drinks here outside the World's Fair waiting for it to run. Anyways, I digress. I just, I was just, you know, when I start an episode, I put the camera somewhere nice, and I was like, damn, it just looks so good. And it was nighttime before I reset the, the, uh, the clock. Uh, let's run a World's Fair. Speaking of scene as we're here. Um, should we do architecture? Let's do botany and horticulture, and I'll do large. I'm so- I'm ugh. God, man, I can't speak today. That's not good for the beginning of an episode. I'm seeking- I, there's items that are sought after, that's what I was trying to say, that I'm looking for right now from the botanical garden. So, in between episodes, I actually saw what the enchanted category gives you. Uh, let me just get rid of the Near East stuff. Let's just get rid of that as well for now. So, um, let's have a look. Enchanted. I hope people don't mind me, like, I know I could just look them up on a wiki or something, but I just find it more fun finding it out once I get them. It's a bit more of a reward. Alright, so that's Enchanted. So that has the Yellow Lotus, the Jujube Lotus, the Perry's Giant Sunburst, the Hemp, um, a Poppy, and Meadow Sage. The Poppy I actually made in the Research Institute, it took 20 minutes. With the current amount of engineers I have. But it is a common item. So probably not 20 minutes well spent if you're being very efficient. But either way, we have the enchanted scent. So it says, while they may find the properties of the plants in the enchanted garden a little too far out, your people have been inspired to improve and refine production of more traditional plant-based stimulants. So I guess that's a reference probably to the, the hemp. I'm guessing maybe these other things do something crazy too. I don't know. <laughs> Smoke anything and it probably do something crazy. Uh, but yeah, so it's get, it says hops fertility is actually provided and then productivity of hops goes up. Now the reason I wanted to get enchanted and near east, of course, is because of the 1404, uh, which, um, music thing, music sheet, I was gonna say music pack, that actually increases near east, sacred, and enchanted. Uh, if we're really trying to maximize, you know, what the music pack is relating to. So near east is the only other one I really want to check for now and see what we end up getting. So I'm just gonna cancel... I'm going to cancel this one out because hops fertility obviously is not going to be that needed. This one I think gave us grain, didn't it? And Dean? Let's just check on that one as well. Because people were saying, why don't you bring that grain one out to Crown Farms? And I think you might be right. Same with the hops, to be honest. Enchanted and... And Dean. You know, that would give us productivity 25% on hops and grain farms. And also, oh, we don't need the fertility. We have it already. But nice little bonus, you know, for free, really. Uh, just, well, it's not free. I guess you have a little bit of influence cost on putting down the actual modules out there, but not that big. Um, because it's only a set of three and a set of six. So that's kind of interesting. So those two I don't really feel like I need here. So I'm just going to get rid of them for now and see what we have for Near East, which is going to be the next thing we start looking for. So I've got four already, so I only need two. 
So we're going to need the Red Tiger Lotus and the Morning Glory. Alright, we can go back to daytime now. Red Tiger Lotus and Morning Glory. That's part of the Near East. And that's Near East as well. Um, so Red Tiger Lotus and Mor Morning Glories. I, I would imagine that we could probably get Morning Glory over here. I haven't actually looked it up. Oriental Cherry. 5,000 to reroll. Hey, we just hit a, a hundred million. I just noticed. Uh, let me just check where we get that item. Uh, equipped and in storage. Oh, it looks like we have it already. At Crown Farms, no less. Hold the crane. Morning Glory, there it is. Uh, okay, good thing we could just search that. And then what was the other one? Red Tiger Lotus, I want to say. Red Tiger Lotus. Okay, so we don't have that one. The item source, trader, Madame Kahina. So we might get lucky if we just roll, spam roll and find the Red Tiger Lotus. Let me just do that just for a moment, see if we can get anything. I'll just, I'll try to just do it quickly. So it's obviously an epic. We're looking for purple straight off the bat. Recognize a cruel master. No, not really. Not seeing it. Not yet, anyway. In before, I'll read comments and people be like, you skipped over like five times or something. <laughs> oh, a little domestic cat. Uh, we're coming up to 100 grand on each roll now. It's getting a bit hefty. We're going to go under that 100 million that we have right now. Nope, I don't think so. I think I'll have to leave it. It's getting quite expensive. Not that money really matters, but ultimately, I don't want to just sit here the entire episode clicking that button. Um, right. Yeah, uh, maybe I missed it. I, I don't think it was there. I was looking for, you know, an, uh, a purple item. That was for the Red Tiger Lotus. So anyways, we might end up just sourcing it then. At the moment, I'm actually researching to get this guy. It's uh, Jakob Sakov. Sokov, maybe? The Charitable Banker. Affects Old World and New World Residences, gives you max residences plus 10%, uh, and then bonus residences plus 1. So I thought we could pop him in one of the engineer districts that we're building. Alright, so let's get building and figuring out what we can actually do this episode. So that's cooking. That's cooking. I just want to make sure, do we have everything? Yes. Okay, Can't we're all good. I know. Can't it be faster? Uh, let's go to... Crab Farms is where we're going to stay. Pretty much for the rest of the episode. So, um, I've got a diving bell out and about doing some things. Let's have a look if we're close to... Yeah, we are. It's the final dive. So, I was trying to find some last things. I had some um, treasure maps for Cape Trelawney, so I decided to have a look. Picked up two Olympian temples. Have it already anyway. So, keep getting redundant items all the time. Oh, well. Didn't get what I needed. So, as you can see in the top left, we have a quest for City of Lights to get... Um, Light bulbs, and that's the last thing I think we need for the engineers. Let's have a look at their needs. Fur coats and light bulbs. And then rum. We haven't let them um, consume rum yet, so if I just have a quick check of our rum consumption. Rum is at 8 tons per minute. Two of the buildings, or three of the buildings seem to be offline. So let's activate the rum. And now, consumption is 18. Holy crap, they are thirsty. 18? Wow. Did it just go from, like, basically nothing to 18? It went from... T they consumed... All the engineers consumed 16 tons of rum. I mean, I guess there is a lot of them. Um, but yeah, it looks, it looks like we're full on it anyway, so let's just let them have it, even though they're just going to run out. But that's quite interesting. So at the moment, we have four rum distilleries and four coffee roasters. So I just got two extras and put them down. Um, I think I already had the rum in reserve. So it seems like that's not going to be enough. Coffee, though, I reckon should be. Yeah, so coffee's fine. So we're done for coffee, but rum, we're going to step our game up big time. So we're going to have to get a few more distilleries or just get something that we can start popping items in there. So I've transferred a few work items from Lusk in between episodes as well. So let's have a look at advanced rum distillery. So we have productivity 40%. We have productivity 20% from the respected enologist 
Uh, all production facilities. Then we have a steam turbine that will just give you electricity, actually, which is kind of interesting. And, uh, yeah, I guess that's it. I guess those are the only two. So, a problem that I have is that I always forget what items do. So, I'm just going to search advanced rum distillery. And then all production... I wish you could filter something so it's like, just show me the specific building. But I guess it's... People would want to know both. So, Madame Elise, the nose, bouquet. Affects champagne, rum, etc. 50 percent productivity special guests unique special guests may visit your city i saw that i saw her before actually she, it came up on when i was looking for an item source it said like one of these categories said it was specifically her and i was like what the hell does that mean that's weird um yeah Matt, damn maybe i should have made her actually or um sourced her from the research institute but okay i think we'll need a dedicated place just for rum and have a trade union just for that um, We're but yeah, so let's make let's make a little you know a little rum area could be kind of nice a little mini factory uh, Because that's kind of what I've been meaning to do with these areas, you know silo them off make these little bespoke Areas just for certain things. So I just want to get a general layout here one two Three Four so four is what we have and we could definitely fit more and then if we had a Trade union. I want to see how much we could cover. So that could definitely cover them all there. The question is, how much more can you fit in then? You could probably do like that, right? If we had absolutely loads of these. Yeah. Could do something as straightforward as that, I suppose. And that way, it's literally just... Just all out rum. <laughs> um, and then what you could probably have something like maybe fire stations on either side. And maybe the supply warehouses down the bottom. And then if we just put a wall around it, that could be our little factory. Don't see why not. Uh, we could make the roads even closer. And then maybe just fill in the... You know, if there's gaps out on the side, then if we make a, a, a rectangle factory area out of this, and then just fill in gaps with whatever ornaments we can find and source. Pretty happy with that. I don't know if two of these is going to be enough. I would hope so. Yeah, let's go with that. Why not? Um, the question is where, though? I suppose for now we could just keep it down somewhere at the bottom here. Yeah. All right. Let's do that. This city is a magnet for genius. I have him already, actually. Affects residences, income per household, happiness, etc. Yep. I have him, I think, over here. This little town hall. Yeah, there he is. He reminds me of um, Lucius Farinas, that, that actor, Kevin something. I don't know his name. I can't remember his last name. I feel like his name's Kevin. Great actor. But I've, I, to be honest, I've only really seen him in that. He's in something else that's quite well known, but I can't remember what it is. Um, alrighty. Yeah, because we could end up moving some of this industry here. And what are these? These are the canneries. People were saying, oh, you should get the actor, and... Again, I, I just always forget what different people do. So I'm just going to move this around. Just get this stuff out of the way for now. And I'll start figuring out moving this up. Be better this way, actually. Maybe, yeah. Then we could have it come into there. I'm pretty happy with that. I'll move it down one. There we go. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. All right. It means that we have to start cutting the. Oops. Start cutting the farms here just a bit. Don't know why I'm focused on rum. Really, we should be focusing on the thing that we didn't have. What was it? Fur. Yeah. I'll get back to that then after this. I'll try to do this kind of quicker. So I left a gap so that we can have a wall and a road going alongside the train track here. Yeah. And then we can have a road. Okay, cool. So um, let's build that. Pop you in there for your 40%. Okay. 
pop you in there as well. So productivity 60% in total with these two. And then, I don't know, we've room to just add electricity if we don't, if it doesn't reach, I suppose. Could do that. But, um, <clears throat> probably need electricity anyway, because I'm going to get rid of that third socket for that item we were looking at. Alrighty. Let's just lay these roads out, and then we can build a wall around it. A tiny something to keep you going. Thank you, Benty. Okay. Probably going to need even more than that in terms of warehouses, but we do have warehouses out in the far ends as well. I'm going to have to just cut this road, actually, sorry. Alright, we'll pop down our little entrances, and then I think the walls will just wrap around. This is interesting, actually. I won't be able to have an entrance here if the road's done that way. It's kind of annoying. I guess it doesn't matter, actually. We just, yeah, the wall's just going to wrap around it, doesn't it? Won't it? Yeah. Sweet. All right, there's our little, um, our distillery, I guess, is what we'll call it. Just, it's straight up the distillery. And we'll just move our four rum production things in. So, just before we do, we can see what we were on before we did it. Um, 18 to 8. All right, so we were producing 8 tons per minute. Let's get rid of these four. I'll have to have a look at which way they should face. I feel like this almost wants to face out. Yeah. Alright, cool. No power in here yet. Nice. Okay, so our power station is right here. If we just connect this to here, that should give it power. Not all the way, but... Hmm, really? Even in a straight, pretty much straight line, it doesn't go all the way in. Frustrating. Um... Hmm. I'm just going to test something then. Let's see what would happen if I moved it up. That would give full coverage to all the planned rum distilleries, anyway. And does it still cover out here? It does. So maybe I'll have another one eventually on the other side or further down. I'll have to really think forward plan where power stations are going to go, because they can get really messy. But I think that's okay. So these are all operational now. They should be at 60%. They should be cheaper and even providing some attractiveness, which is funny. Alright, cool. Um... Let's just blank that with concrete. Let's blank this out with concrete as well. Although, you know what? Maybe we could have something like, um... No reason we couldn't have something like, what do you call it? Trees and things like that? It could look nice. I like the ideas of the fire stations being tucked in a bit. Yeah, maybe we can have trees and things in here. So, let's see. Artisans. Actually, workers have pretty good trees. <laughs> Sounds like such a weird thing to say, to know that. Um, is this blueprint? There we go. And then maybe a well. Sixteen different variations. Wow. Well, the if, I, if anyone thinks of anything better to add, 
than just this, let me know. Maybe on the other side we could have something else, a bit more of a, uh, a place where people can rest and sit out. Okay. Got our trade union in the center. Uh, don't know what I'd have on that side. I guess for now we could just concrete it and see what we can do with it later. There's all sorts of like building materials and things like that that we can use. Uh, two facing that way. Yeah, I like them all. They don't have to face the same way, I guess, but... Maybe they should. Anyways, well, it's going to be a while before we get that many, but this would just be a complete rum facility. I mean, it'd be huge if it gets, if it's all just for rum. But yeah, so that should, uh, let's check it out. So it was 18 to 8, now we should be like on 10 or something? Yeah, 10. 18 to 10. So just that little, what was it, 60% productivity boost, but it's only four buildings, so we just get 10. So a bit better. It's going to hurt our coal and potato production, though, so we need to check on that. Potatoes is fine, 18 to 18 actually right now, so that's okay. And then I've obviously chipped away on the farm here. Just put that back. We're probably going to move that though eventually. So, alrighty. Um, so next up, I don't think it, did I cut anything else? Did I mess up anything? I don't know. I don't think so. Not immediately. Obvious if I did. And then the you know we're, like I said, we're going to keep building out these different factory districts and moving things. So. The rest obviously isn't done. This is like this area is done. Pretty much nothing else is. I like the coastline with all the um. Supply warehouses, though. <clears throat> okay, so we had the World's Fair done. Let's check what we got. Exotic plants, lotuses. We're looking for that red something lotus, right? So let's have a look. <clears throat> Excuse me. Hey, we got it. Red tiger lotus. There you go. Finally, actually get something that I want for once. Was that all we needed? There was two things I needed, wasn't there? A morning glory and the lotus, I think. I probably passed by the morning glory, didn't I? Oh, no, no, no. We ha I moved it in from... A I had a ship that go pick it up, didn't I? God, my memory is so bad. It was in Cape Trelawney, if I don't... If I recall correctly. Did I move the ship, though? That's the question. Hi. Ah, I forgot to. Oh, well. All right, off you go. Uh, we can quickly do another one, but now maybe we'll go for archaeology. So we have plantains, we have tortillas, we have felt, we have the bikes, and we have the Z-Rum. Great. All right. Uh, people mentioned, by the way, that why don't we build on another island and stuff and raise population? I think we will. You know, I'll probably build um, farmers and stuff out here and do a commuter pier. So this island, just for reference, is this one here. We took off Margaret and we actually kept it. Um, so there's obviously mines and copper and oil and things we could get here maybe in future if we start wanting to build it up. But a commuter pier is 15 influence, uh, so we can just link it up to here get that farmer workforce, and then maybe we could get rid of some of the farmers that we have along the riverbed uh, that people didn't really like the idea of the sound of that, and I kind of agree, it doesn't really, I don't know how I'd make it work. The amount of hospitals, we had a big plague hit out here, and it was not good, mainly because of this thing. This increases chance of illness by 60%, so even with all these, it's just dramatic. Also, there was um, people saying, like, why don't we move the local department down into the center of the town, which actually does look fairly good, but you still have to have the bank right behind it, and the bank just kind of dwarfs it, so I feel like, I did look at it, and I thought, eh, not loving it, because it still feels like the centerpiece is the bank, it's just like there's something in front of it now, that's how it felt anyway, um, but it was a good idea, if I didn't have a need for a bank, or if the bank was just smaller, I think it would look a lot better, so I still like the idea of having this on its own island, now it actually reaches the different districts anyway, and then building out a whole island dedicated to being just like, this kind of regal area. Maybe we could have hospitals on a couple of edges of it as well to help help the areas. But uh, largely speaking, I think it'll just be like a big plaza with the palace in the center or the local department in the center and then just like, you know, nice looking buildings around it and nice looking ornaments and things like that. Uh, okay, so fur, I think will be the next thing. So this little island here, Drumcondra, um, 
is all about fur, and we have fur set up to travel between the islands through a charter route. It's been that way for a very long time. Uh, we just don't have the building set up to actually process fur and make it for our people. So let's have a look at consumer goods, fur, and what's needed. So 10 tons per minute is what's needed. And I think we just have one on the island at the moment, is it? We have one, and it's right here. And they're probably I just a bit short. Oh, they're animals. short on ca cotton fabric. All right. Uh, we make excess cotton fabric in the New World. Now, we have a Docklands. Uh, we could just bring some in. We make... I wrote this down. We make 30 beans... Or we get 30 coffee beans per minute. Oh, uh, you know what? Actually, we probably get even more. Oh, no, we don't. It's this guy. Yeah, yeah. So, product... So, this guy affects coffee roasters, gives us productivity, and one bean every... One ton of beans... <laughs> every cycle every second cycle yeah so one out of two so every second cycle so i worked it out i was like okay well how long does this operate for so it's 20 oops 24 seconds is how long it takes for one cycle so 48 seconds every 48 seconds we get um a ton of beans from one thing yeah so from one thing every 48 seconds so let me just bring up my calculator really quickly actually then if we were saying that the captain tobias arrives every i don't know 25 minutes so 25 minutes times 60, that's 1,500 seconds divided by 48 seconds, which is how often we produce one ton of, of coffee beans, is 31.25. So we got four buildings, though, so we can times that by four. So it's 125. I think I only had it in for one building, not four. So that we make 125 coffee beans, which you could ship off to the New World or something, I guess, if you wanted to. Uh, I don't need the light bulbs. That was just a test. Um... But yeah, 125, that means maybe we could bring in, what? what's the cotton fabric like? 88, it's alright. Not bad. Could be worse. Let's leave, like, leave that for now. Our consumption of cotton fabric, what is it right now? Currently, the, well, we have to get the base building up first, so let's do this. Gonna need more artisans. Now, people were saying, actually, use items for fur dealers. Again, I've forgotten. Excuse me. What we could use. It's her. Costume designer. Replace the input. Instead of cotton fabric, it processes wool. Ah, yes. We've only got one of her, though, don't we? Mm hmm. So we need to get another one of her. She's already in operation in the old world. Let's go all islands, I guess, and then see. Could we pull her over? Not pull her over, but bring over her product. We make 21 tons, and yeah, no, I need the I need the access for things like the World's Fair, and then we're going to improve the amount of engineers and stuff we have anyway. So we'll leave her where, where she is. But yeah, obviously, it'd be very ideal if we could get her again. Um, so costume designer. So item location, Eli Bleakworth. Maybe we'll just try a couple rolls on him, see if we can find her. Hey. Surely the choice is black and white. What with my clean record executing justice. There she is. Easy as that. We'll get her. We'll bring her over. Stick her in to the uh, next to a trade union. Uh, next to the fur dealers. And then we should be fine. And we'll just set up wool instead. Battle troops are on the warpath. Or we could just even bring in wool, Not right? Which would be much better than bringing in um, cotton fabric. What else do we have here while we're here? Affects hunting cabins, soap factories, spectacle factory, oil power plant, chance to fire extra goods, oil. Hmm. Every three cycles you get mo one extra oil. That's pretty good. Let's get him. Chef Michael's kind of interesting. He produces, instead of goulash... Uh, the cannery just takes in pigs directly, and he what also produces sausages on the side. Anyway, we'll send you back over to Crown Falls, Crown Farms, excuse me. And then our ship that should be arriving with the Morning Glory is almost here. How's this going? So 40 minutes of raining, so not until the next episode will we get that guy. Getting tight for influence though now with, um... Uh, all these trade unions and things. If only there were more of me. I know. 
Yeah, I guess we could make some more of you. So, I did say I was going to redesign this area. Hmm. I'm just thinking, do I do it in a time lapse or just do it now? I feel like I could just do it now. I'm just having a look at it, though. So basically... In this gentle bow, am I quite content? What do they need? Proximity-wise, they need a school, they need a university, a church, and a variety theater. And with this building, we reach all of our public services, and they reach much further. So I think these buildings actually do cover the entire area now. Yes. Ah, actually, the school gets pretty weak by the time we get out here. The church seems to... I'm just going to turn to nighttime. It's a bit easier to see it when it's dark. Yeah, we can see that it drops off just around there. This one's okay. Even this one's okay. Just until we get to there. But I've got plans for a second variety Your theater. Ship has returned from its voyage. I guess ultimately I, didn't have I don't have plans for another school. That could be all right. Yeah, so I, I think it's a bit weird to redo the whole place. I think I just need to make what's there work. Because it's I obviously designed it originally, and I think it's good. It's just that I obviously forgot what I was doing, the way I was putting houses back in. So I can still just move things and get them to look nicer. Um, so yeah, let me just do a little bit of an upgrade then and just drag over some houses real quick. So these ones are pretty easy to put back. Let's just do that. So just very quickly, I'm just going to bring them right here. Okay, so now I can just see kind of where I want to put them. So let's start filling out from the bridge in. I want it to be kind of compact. Yep, that's good. Then we've got this area here is perfect. We can just add these ones in, no problem. Okay, another little district. They don't need, they can have a paved road, obviously. Artisans should have a paved road. Uh, so, let's see then where next. What's with the music? What the hell was that? <laughs> what the hell? <laughs> you have nightmares about that. Some scary music came on for a second. Um, so there's some gaps and stuff around here. Let's see. We want to tuck them in next to the edges of the um, cliffs or whatever, the river. Tuck them in and yeah, it gives some space to the university. Mm -hmm. Yeah, filling that out nicely, I think. Okay, uh, variety theater area is a little bit weird. I feel like I might actually just leave that empty, so just for the variety theater. Or maybe even the church. We should swap where the church is. Yeah, I think maybe I'll do that. So let's move this out here. Move that here. Move that guy here. Delete that. Delete that. Get rid of this. So let me just see now at night time exactly where is that again. So it just runs out when it gets to about here. But with a paved road it should reach actually. Not everything's paved. Yeah, so that's fine. Cool. Alright, and then maybe we can stick in the variety theater over here. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's how we do it. This road links up nicely. Actually, because the wall is around this side, I'm going to stick it there. And then this area can have more of an entrance, like, the, you know, the way where people would have their weddings or whatever. Just like at the frontier, but like a little a little side area for them. Uh, or we could even cut the road a slightly closer and maybe leave a gap for these houses to have some interesting stuff in front of them. Something like that. All right, good. Happy with that. Variety theory we can dress up in a moment as well. Um, right, so... 
next group of houses. In the world of finance. Little groups here. Tempted to fill out this whole island at this rate, just so we can... Because eventually, you'd think that we probably will. And let's just do these final bits here. Okay, cool. Um, so let's just add in the old houses. They'll upgrade in no time. Great. Starting to fill it out again. So yeah, while we're here, let's try to decorate this area and make it look a little bit prettier. Um, so the Variety Theater... Hmm. Typically, I like to just build one of those little fences around it. Let's go with uh, engineer fencing. And then we can have something along the side here, because this is like a little side entrance. Oh, there's a side entrance on both sides, actually, I didn't realize, but... We've got a little bit of a gap, so we should do something with it. It's either that, or... Actually, yeah, I changed my mind. Let's get rid of that. Make that a tight little area, but then we can have like a little farming... Or not farming, um, what do you call it, market thing here. So I'm gonna be a bit lazy. And copy the market that we have here. Because it's, it's, it's pretty much the same thing that I always use. Yeah, pretty much perfect. We'll just extend that out. And then we'll find one of the other variations. City lights. Let's see. Yeah, let's get one of these. There. A market across from the church. Love it. Yeah, I'm happy with that wall on that side, so that's fine. I wonder, is the worker tiling the same kind of concrete? Oh, it's a slight color difference. I don't know if anyone can see that. I mean, it's something you would never really notice. We just uh, get rid of the cracks in the ground. I mean, you'd, you, the only way you would ever notice that is if you knew, right? You wouldn't notice it. <laughs> and then maybe we could stick some things in front of it or something. I don't know. How many engineers do we have? 5,855. How many do we have in the old world? Four, wow, we actually have more in Crown Falls than we do in the old world. Wow, it's crazy. I guess it is a bigger area. And they're not even fully grown yet. Their fur coats is falling back down. I've a part for you in my tragedy. None shall live who scorn the oath. All right, let's start. Um, just adding some trees and little beautification things around here, and finish off the area. The flower bed. Hmm. I feel like you get a house in there, no? No. What could you put there? I'm trying to think, maybe a little mini plaza? Maybe a garden plaza. There we go. So it's just like a little closed off area. Obviously it doesn't look amazing with the uh, corners of the trees or whatever, but I think from a distance it looks good. You know, just to see like, oh yeah, a little garden for those guys. I 
Just trying to think what would make sense across from a variety theater over here. There's a bit of space out this way. A little newsstand here on the corner, actually. That kind of makes sense. As you come into the town. Won't be able to put anything there. There we go. Little florist outside of the artisan houses here. Again, as we get further up now, maybe start doing similar things. So, just adding in some of these like little amenities. Sandwich shack. They're going to love it. What else do we have? These small little florist stalls and farmer stalls. They're good as well. Don't necessarily need any tables, I don't think. Um, yeah, so that could just stay like that. That's fine. Let's fix this road. I need to actually just go really quickly. I'm struggling to remember. That's why I'm going so quiet. Remember what kind of ornaments did I use around this area? I guess you could use telephone boxes as well. Ah, oh, yeah. I want these ones. And the billboards are good as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. I was just getting a refresher on what I've used before, I suppose. Um, not sure, actually, where you get those kind of bulletin things. There's a little cut through to get in there. I don't know if maybe I should just go with that concrete. Hmm. So frustrating the way it's like it's just a slightly different color. This is just like a door. Um. Does this look weird? No, not really. A bit close to the door if I'm being picky. <laughs> oh, there it is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, spot that there. Cool. So yeah, definitely need to think about what's going to go here. I guess a billboard actually kind of makes sense to show you, tell you what's on in the variety theater across from it. Um, and maybe even as you're coming in from the bridge, right? So you'd have like a little billboard there or something. Yeah, that could kind of make more sense. So that's Anaholic, Ana Union, Anarchy. Let's do Anarchy. <laughs> you can imagine Anarchy is playing in the variety theater. <laughs> Uh, let's see, then what else? Then, yeah, they just have, like, little benches and things. Or actually, um, a little, uh, food place or sandwich shack or something like that. Sandwich shack, bakery, drinks. I'm gonna go with the, um, food stand. I know it's, like, meant for the carnival, but I think it works, still works pretty, fairly well. And then just to cover up this area a little bit, we can... Just do some trees and some grass. You got yourself an agreement. Cool. Alrighty. Uh, same thing actually down here, really. Let's do another billboard right there. Children's playground. Oh, yeah. Actually, near the, <laughs> near the church, I guess. Nothing wrong with that, right? <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. We'll just stick one over there for now. Um, it's so difficult trying to figure out like what ones fit in here particularly well. <laughs> Beverages stand. So I guess it's kind of like the other one, just not food. Alright, let's update the road here as well. Yeah, 
Yeah, I mean, at least from like up here, like, you know, I, I can never not see the jagged edges of these things, but what can you do? You know, ultimately, that's just the game. But yeah, generally speaking, I think if you were to zoom in, you're like wondering why that's there. I think it kind of makes sense because it's the bridge. Same with this one, the little newsstand, the variety theater, the farmer's market across from the open area of the church. I think that looks good. Need to think about what's going to go there, though. Probably have some sort of like nice decorations or nice themes. I know it would look kind of nice, but I don't want to just spend too long doing that. I know that can be maybe, I don't know, maybe to some people a little monotonous, just taking quite a long time looking through these things. But what I, what I was thinking for here, though, is having this sort of thing, like um, the steelwork fence, but not with the farmer stalls in between, just some sort of like nice decoration of it. You can have it um, sort of do this sort of thing. I don't know, it's just something like that, and then, um, like a little entrance in that leads in. So something like that, like I keep saying that, but you know what I mean. That's not the final thing, but that might work there if I could uh, have a bit more time with it. But yeah, looking good, looking good. Generally pretty happy with this little area. Let's just make sure we just finish off all these areas where we just put in new houses. Yeah, actually, that's fine, because then when I add these ones in, then I'll be over there. All right, good. So anyway, we went up to 132, so we were negative 280 or something like that. I'm missing particular materials. Now, they don't have, um... Did we get that costume designer and I sent it here, didn't I? Yeah, so it's here now. Bop, bop, bop. Cool. So... Ultimately, I'll probably give them their own area, but... For now. We'll just stick them in where there is a trade union already. Costume designer, where are ye? Oh my god, I'm an, I'm an idiot. We had one here already. I can't believe it. I could have sworn we didn't. Oh well. Oh, well, we got one pretty easily, so it's not a big deal. At least it wasn't some massive struggle. So, costume design is in there, which means they're going to be using wool. Uh, we've got loads of wool. Let's see... Agriculture-wise, what's that at? Oh wow, we don't even need to import any, so we're good. With all the sheep farms that we have right now. 125 beans. Just need to remember that number. I know I'll forget it if I don't put something in there. Yeah, it's just anything, just so I can remember. It's a surprise. Yeah, Alrighty, so there we go. So fur. Let's see, is that enough now for coats for these guys, or do they need even more? No, that's actually enough. 12 out of 11. Obviously, as we get more um, artisans, I guess the demand will also increase. Why has that gone down so low? Does it replace the input of who works it? Oh, it does. That's an annoy annoying kind of trade-off. Oh yeah, instead of its usual workforce, it uses workers. I'd actually be fine with it if you use artisans, but I just want to be able to use wool. <laughs> oh well. Alright, that's back to where it was. Um, what I could actually do up here is... Yeah, because they use all the same stuff, is use both workers and artisans. Because we're probably going to need both. And that way, yeah, actually that's, that'd be nice, because some people were saying, like, why don't you, you know, mix districts a little bit instead of segmenting them so much? Which I'm really happy with how I've done it over here. But yeah, maybe in Crown Farms we can shake it up. And I said that artisans work well with workers because they're kind of irregular shaped houses and stuff. So, um, yeah, there's no reason not to, and they all have the same requirements. So as long as they're near the school and things like that, they're all happy. Yeah, that'd be kind of cool, wouldn't it? And we could have maybe the artisans in the middle of the river, and then on the extremities, it kind of fades into workers and so on and so forth. Maybe around the variety theater, more artisans. Yeah, I think that'd be a nice little project to do. Might I might do a time lapse of that, filling out those two islands. Yeah, that'd make sense, wouldn't it? Resounding agreement in the chat. I can hear it, or in the comments. I could totally hear it. So, let's see... That's fur coats worked on, so now it's light bulbs. So let's see if we can just do it quick and dirty. Um, so sand mine, well we know we've got lots of sand. Coal, then it's going to be glass, we've got lots of glass. Filaments, which we don't have anyone doing anything for filaments here. And then light bulbs. So let's slam down a couple light bulb factories. See if that's going to get us anywhere close to what we need. It does, it... It's in fact twice as much as we need, but I think one building won't be enough. No. Where was that master yeah. switch? So we'll leave two on. Or we could just overclock one of them. Slightly. 
If we had a if we had a thing that gave us productivity in all production buildings, like a slight increase. Light bulb factory, 35% productivity. And glass. Oh my god, yes. Let's go. Boom. How's the sand? It's the demand for sand is quite high. 28 tons per minute. We're not producing that much. Oh yeah, so when I moved the power plant, we cut off the power to the sand mines. Aha. Uh -huh. Hmm. <laughs> Interesting. So instead of having 12, we've only got 6. So we dramatically cut ourselves short with that. And how many... These take 25 workers. I see what you did there. Well, that's as far down as I can move it. Like, two tiles, basically. If I want to supply my distillery. Does that do anything for these guys? It helps a little bit, but it doesn't solve the problem. It's a temporary solution. <laughs> I gotta build the Docklands properly, and then I gotta have a proper sand mine. Um, but yeah. That's another, it's another one for uh, time lapses, I guess. What do we have on my secondary ship? Let's now bring these to swords. Yeah, it'd actually be pretty cool to make this place an exporter of rum if we end up having too much, which it seems like we probably will. Let's check where rum is at now, now that we increase that area. So productivity is 10, the demand is 18 still. So that didn't change, even though we just got a bunch more above the madding crowd. households for it. Yeah, so I guess not much I can do other than just wait to research a couple of these things. Um, and then light bulb factories, we just need filaments and then we're good. And again, that's going to be pretty heavy strain on our coal. Productivity is still high, but it's going to affect coal in the old world, probably. And then we have stuff Docklands is importing extra coal as well. Let's just check the... Sorry that I keep flicking into the screen. Light bulbs. Let's check then filaments. Market demand is slightly higher than what we're getting. Um, what do you affect? You don't affect filaments. They're not affected. These are all affected, but yeah, okay. All right, well, just as an exchange then, just as, again, a temporary measure on this one, 125 is what it was at. Let's bring in some quartz sand. There we go. So that extra, those coffee beans that we can't use anyway, we're just bringing in sand as a replacement for it. And that 419 sand every, like, 20-ish minutes should be more than we need. I reckon. Drops are spinning. Um, right, well, we should be good to go then. I think we ultimately just need a third one of these, though. Should have praised it from your cold, dead hands. All right, so that's filaments, that's light bulbs. We've got loads of glass. Let's just check on glass again. Glass is totally fine. Great. Glass is ridiculous, in fact, because we really don't need that much. <laughs> but why not? Um... And that should be these guys with their demands fully met, at least for the main demands. Uh, yeah, we haven't provided yet pocket watches or penny farthings. Don't know how they have penny farthings right now, because I don't think we make them, do we? We have none on the island. So, I was bringing in penny farthings for a while, but it shouldn't be that much. Sorry, I keep looking over there to hit the um, warehouses. 810. Where are you getting it from? <laughs> and it's increasing. Well, we're not producing any, so it must have just been the Docklands. Okay, I was bringing in 18, and we have 960. It must have had some from before as well. 
Okay, well, our population is steadily increasing. It's the highest it's ever been, 54,000, nearly 55,000. We need to get to, what was it, 59? 59, 20, 80. Yeah, getting kind of close. So I think in the next episode, what I'll do is a lovely big time lapse of just, like I always do, just filling out these areas, and then I'll fill out this area as well. So yeah, really big time lapse in the next one, I think, for doing that. Uh, and then when our population keeps going up, we can use some of that influence then to put down the trade unions in more beneficial places, or more optimal places, I guess you could say. Flippin' Olympian te Temple again, man. All I want to get is the, um... I'm looking for the Roman ones, the Empire of the Eagle. Whoops, wrong thing. Empire of the Eagle. All we need is the Imperial Eagle Mosaic. That's what I'm looking for. <laughs> Keep finding every other mosaic in the game. Epic depiction of... So it's an epic. I have to look it up and see, like, is there another way of getting it? That's it, right? Yeah. So Anosaurus diving. Different maps. Map of lost temples sunken. Da -da 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 -da. So we can have a look through that. Monument, obviously, doing sumptuous archaeological. That's what we've done. Maybe about 20 of them. Still haven't got it yet. Uh, you can get them from quests, expeditions for archaeological expeditions. I don't think I've actually seen one of those. There's one. Should we do that? Let's extend the old telescope. Where's my ship? I'll need to find that ship. Oh, it's here. Nice. I didn't know if it was here already. Yeah, so let's send it off. Um, medicine is likely, so we'll just add on... Not soap. Well, soap works, but rum is what I was going to say. Medicine. A marsh mallow. Uh, then, let's see, obviously bringing the Pope with us, because he's awesome. Is he not there? There he is. By the waves, die by the waves. Uh, Brother Hilarious? I guess I have him placed in somewhere. Oh, I don't have him yet, actually, I don't think. So, that's going to give us the trait Hypnotist. I want the Spice Master, because she has all sorts of traits. She has Jack of all traits. Um, what else could we bring with us for fun? We already have a hypnotist straight. Oh, look at him actually though with medicine 55, force 30. What else do we need? Diplomacy. We have loads of diplomacy on the ship. Let's throw him in there. I think that's pretty much everything. I don't know. Navigation, I guess we're kind of low on. And crafting. Uh... Hey, wait a second. What? I already have Jorg von... Oh, no, that's not the same guy. Sorry. I thought he was the one I was researching in the instant, uh, the research institute. Throw him in there as well. Why not? Let's go. <laughs> yeah, sorry. My bad. This guy is called Jakob Sokov. Sokov. 13 minutes to go until we get him. And then that's going to give us max residence 10%. So, yeah, we can actually build one of the... I suppose while we're waiting, I know I'm going to gonna do it eventually. So, might as well do it now. Uh, which town hall covers the most amount of people? Probably not that one. Not that one. This one. Yeah. So anything for, like, max residence would be nice. Max residence 10%, bonus residence 1, affects old world and new world residences, excluding scholars. Alright, what else could we do? We could, um, activate a huge alcohol crate for fun. Affect churches, old world residences. So, residences with the variety theater need fulfilled are provided with rum and canned food. Oh, the actor. There we go. Heavily reduces the amount of drinking. Sorry, I thought when people were saying actor, I don't know why. I thought it was a trade union item, not a town hall. Affects members clubs, churches... Workforce 10%. Not that I need it, but it gives us 300 more workforce. 
Your ship has returned yep, from I'll just leave it for now then and wait. We'll pop her in, why not? Maintenance of police station. Save that uh, 100, 100 gold. Uh, but these guys should climb up now to, what, 44? That's pretty good. And that does affect your population, right? Yeah, yeah there we go. Add in that other 10% would be laughing. The thrill of discovering new horizons. I know. Alright, I guess that's going to be it for this episode. A bit of a slower paced one, but in the next one I'm going to have lots of, lots of big building out in this area. That's what I'm going to focus on in my day of recording. Um, yeah, so big building on this, all this area. We're going to have, I'll have a look more through some items, make some notes about items as well, so I can be uh, a little bit more time efficient maybe in these episodes. I'm just going to cut this here, I don't like it, don't like the way it looks. Oh yeah, and then, yeah, we should definitely move over the grain items and the hops fertility items, so that, or sorry, not items, but the um, museum modules and the zoo module, rather. And then we can actually just get island-wide buffs with some of the museums. I keep calling them museums, with some of the cultural items from the zoo. So that'll be fun. Uh, but yeah, and then I also need to work out a plan for how I'm going to build this Docklands. No power, eh? I think the... Oh, there's something weird happening there. There you go. Anyway, yeah, so that's going to be the end of this episode. Let me know what you think of the distillery area. I'm sure people will catch up on any big giant mistakes I've made. Um, and then, yeah, I don't know. If you've got any other feedback, absolutely let me know. Uh, but thank you guys very much for watching. We're getting close to tourism, so we can cram a few more things in there before tourism drops. That'd be good. And then I'll be focused on that for when that comes out and for a couple of episodes, no doubt, uh, where we decide where our hotels are going to go, our bus routes are going to go, etc., etc. Uh, so yeah, so thank you guys again very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey guys, thank you very much for watching, and remember, if you want to support this series directly, you can click the Join button to become a channel member. Doing so will get your name in the credits, as well as loyalty badges and emotes to use in the comments. If you don't see the Join button, it means the video has been copyright claimed, but you can still join from the channel page on desktop. You can also link your account to our Discord to get a special role on there that will give you access to the Senate House and a few other perks.